Hello to friends and welcome. Today I have for you a knife from Real Steel. This will be my first uh, exemplar of the Real Steel uh, production knife. So, and I'm really excited to, to share this one with you. I did pick it up uh, locally at my at my uh, knife shop, and I was really impressed with the with the construction and fit and finish of the knife, and therefore I had to get it right away. So we have here the model number of the knife is E775 Sea Eagle. This is the G10 carbon fiber laminate in satin, and the stock number is 7151. So the presentation looks really nice. We have a nice box and informations inside. So firstly, this is excellent. All manufacturers should should include a informations paper about the knife we have here. So let's talk about the measurements right away. So we have a liner lock construction, the blade is uh, 14 c 28 n blade length is 95 mm or 3.74 inches, blade thickness, and as I mentioned, uh, the handle is G10 carbon fiber. And the open, the open the full length is uh, 21.3 cm or 8.38 inches. The weight is 122 grams or 4.3 ounces. Okay, the, the next piece of paper will nicely uh, explain what kind of other variants or models they offer. So we're talking about this one and they're really, really nice. And on the other side we have a nice manual how to disassemble and what are the inside parts of the different constructions so excellent work excellent work real steel okay like many other manufacturers they will give you a nice uh, microfiber cloth for your cleaning and here is the knife itself So we have a stainless steel liner construction with a overlay of carbon fiber laminate with uh, G10. So there are few, few layers of carbon fiber and then other the thickness is made out of uh, regular black G10. We have a nice two uh, screw construction. So they're both pivot screws. And we have a rather stiff um, metal pocket clip. The action is uh, superb. We have a nice setting blade finish. Few informations. So there is the blade steel, and here is the model designation. This is a open pivot screw. Real steel logo there. They could made it a little bit uh, smaller. The logo is on the pocket clip, and we have a liner lock construction so steel on steel really smooth excellently balanced so we have a nice smooth operation the blade centering is 
almost perfect. We have our resources cut out here to better deploy the blade. Jimped part to better disengage, disengage the lock, which is always good to have. A little bit of cosmetic jimping. Ah, it could function. Yeah, it grabs, it grabs, sorry. It grabs, so it is functional. It is a little bit large, but in my opinion, a really great uh, knife. And also, um, in my opinion, if you like flippers and like uh, Shiroguro knives, like me, but uh, don't have the, the money or you don't want to spend so much money on a knife, then this is a really nice example of similar designs, similar, well executed for a great price. So uh, about the pricing, these can be bought from around 54 to 72 uh, dollars, depending on your uh, preferred option where you are buying it, maybe eBay, maybe your local uh, knife shop, maybe online, maybe Amazon, maybe Blade HQ. So check them out. I would say 54, really good price. 64, okay. 72, it is doable, but that is uh, why you would pay more if you don't have to. But if you are comparing uh, it with a, let's say, $800 knife, yes, of course, you are getting better steel and titanium and brands and everything, but this is perfectly uh, usable and you will have a lot of enjoyment playing with it, using it, maybe give it away as a gift. So excellent, excellent knife, real steel. And I will try to get a few more in the future because I'm really excited about this brand. Okay, so now uh, let's see a few uh, comparisons. So here is a large or full size Griptilian. They are almost the same size. Here is the small one. Then of course the Delica 4, which is a larger knife. Sorry, Endura. This is the Delica. And of course the Shirogoro Flipper Model 95, which is a larger knife. But there you there you see the similarities between them two. But anyway, this is a really excellent design and excellently executed. So the smoothness, the fit and finish right out of the box without any kinds of uh, oiling and tweaking and cleaning. Just keep in mind when you are watching my videos, a lot of uh, Chinese knives or knives made in China are come drenched in oil to, to protect them in, while uh, in transit and all different kinds of, uh, of uh, gunk and grime. So firstly, I need to, to clean the knife before I can use it, but this one is perfectly presentable out of the box. You can you can get it. You can you can give it away as a gift. So excellent. So, if you have any questions, leave comments down below. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a nice day. Bye.